You been here before? Mm-mm. We never get away. David works all the time. His patients are all rich old bags who harass him mercilessly around the clock. This is a strange place for a holiday home. It's like they're living out some kind of fantasy, I guess. I like it here. It feels like a country where a useless man could be happy. And are you a useless man? <sighs> I follow the way of the Buddha. It's good to know that there are other useless people in this world besides me. <laughs> We should get out of the sun before you start to bleed. I don't bleed very easily. It's 400 miles to Asna. Long way to go for a party. Face it, David, we're lost. That's the time. No, it's not. This is the time. No, David. Don't be so bloody stupid. <laughs> It was an accident. He stepped out in front of us. We don't want the police showing up, poking their noses into everything. You got into a car with a drunk, which makes you an accessory. I feel like I've been an accessory for a long time now. Now listen, are you going to mope a weekend, or are you going to enjoy yourself? It's not a crime to enjoy yourself, you know. I suppose I can make the effort. He didn't mention money? No. He wants you to return with them to bury the boy. It is customary in these parts. People disappear here. They just vanish. What did you do with this ID? Bury it. They didn't just hit him. They ran over him. Maybe more than once. What did they call it in your country? Roadkill. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. So has it occurred to you that he might actually be planning something a lot nastier than anything you can anticipate? You've forgotten about my husband. Yes, I have. And so have you. Why did you come here? 